Hello and welcome to Animal Village, a little horror game developed by Rastek, available on Itch.io. And well, we get to explore a quaint little settlement with talking animals. And I guess we'll see what happens because this is actually a survival horror game, so a bit of a content warning. It uh, may contain some dark themes. Viewer discretion is advised. Let's begin. Uh, save will be deleted. Huh. Did I open this game before? I'm not sure. I actually don't know. I might have. Might have you know, just tested it out. Alright. Uh, huh. Okay. Game. I feel like the game's a little stretch, but maybe that's normal. But we have blood. We have 10, I guess 10 liters? Is that liters? I'm not sure. We have, we have 10 LTs of blood and 18 bullets. Amazing. Walking around. Kind of like, uh, you know, classic Legend of Zelda style, in a way. Oh, the power of gun. We have the power of gun. We can pause. Okay. I have a little hat. Hello. Animal Village. Visitors, welcome. Hello. Welcome. I'm the guide of this place. You may call me Miranda. This is Animal Village, formerly Human Village. It's empty as of now, but we're accepting visitors. Formerly Human Village? Did the, did the animals take over? Are we human, you know, we're just pretending to be an animal because we're wearing a hat? Would you like to know about the pit? It was built by the people that lived here. They used to throw dead bodies into the pit, but grew, or grew? Grew? But grew to throw... Oh, yeah, okay. I was wondering... I don't know. I felt the sentence was weird, but no, I guess it makes sense. Uh, they used to throw dead bodies into the pit, but grew to throw inside anything unwanted. Their sorrow, their fears, their doubts, all were cast into the pit. Back to the pit. But the things they threw away, they could never get back. And that's why they died. Did you lose something important as well? Is there something you need? Spend time with Miranda. That do anything? The game does say there's some light dating sim elements. <laughs> so like we can date Miranda? I don't know. What's in here? Hello? Uh, it really does feel like Legend of Zelda, you know? Like specifically, I feel like at least what you know what I've played anyway, the uh, Game Boy Advance version, you know, in particular. I played uh, what was it? The Minish Cap. I played that one. Hello? Can you believe they tried to make this into a home? These walls couldn't house an ant. I already unpacked my stuff. The vandal right is mine, but you can use the one on the left. Hmm. Okay, we can sleep, I guess, if you want to. The name's Rondo, by the way. Rondo the Stray. I guess we're roommates now. I came because I heard they needed settlers, and I guess I never had a place to call my own. What'd you come here for, by the way? How things, Rumi? In time room, I guess. Bloody toilet. You don't feel like it right now. Hmm. Okay. I guess we can sleep. I don't know. You want to do it right now? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the mechanics are, to be honest. Because I'm, I'm wondering, like, if we spend time with someone, does it, like, pass time? Do I want to pass time? We can also go down to the pit. I don't know. Do should we go down into the pit? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting person there. Can I look at these? No? Welcome, child. I am Mass, the Butcher. If you like, I can turn your blood to bullets. Don't worry, there's no charge. After all, this is a community service. What will be today, child? Hmm. I don't know if I want to change my blood into bullets. Um. I feel like I need my blood? I need my blood to, to live, right? I assume so. And this one is blocked off, I guess. Run, 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 run. Okay, well, what happens if we spend time with Miranda? Maybe we just hang out. Uh, Miranda catches you staring. This village is a historic site. Many tourists like you have come here before, seeking the things they lost, hoping to find them in the pit. Not many have come back out. 
Your head tilts. What would make someone do something so dangerous? You two chat for a while. Okay. I don't know. Can I just do that indefinitely? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that works. Can I talk to you? I spend time with Rondo. You know the pit? It was always there before the town was built. Rondo starts rambling. Humans of old used to revere the pit. Throw, throw sacrifices inside, all that jazz. Heh <laughs> heh, I get morbid, but the sacrifices? What a wrong way to die. Rondo smiles wildly. They plucked out their eyes and tongues so they couldn't see and they couldn't ask for help. How do I know this? Well, I'm... He seems nervous. <laughs> I made it all the well, way- I made it all- I made it all up, you see. Source, I made it up. Got you good, didn't I? Rondo seems relieved. You feel you understand him a little more. Your social link has increased. Amazing. Use your bed. Take a little rest. Sleep. Uh, all items and enemies will return. Well, I haven't seen any enemies yet, so... I don't know. I go to sleep? I don't sleep on the- Do I not sleep on the bed? I sleep on the floor. That's weird. Or maybe it's like the idea is that you fall off the bed. I don't know. Okay, we can spend more time with- I don't know. I'm not sure how that works, but... Oh, let's actually explore some more. I guess the only way to explore would be to go into the pit. I guess the idea is that we go into the pit and then maybe we come back up and then that's how it works. I'm not sure. Let's go. Spiders? What the heck? Hello? Well, I have bullets, but I don't know if I want to use it, you know? Hmm. Strange way to control. Strange controls, I don't know. That's more bullets. Hello? Why, hello there, sir and madam. Beautiful day, no? Almost makes you feel like skydiving. You can go first, of course. Let's meet again, yes? Okay. Bird creature. Yeah, the arrow keys is, is kind of weird. Hmm. I was thinking of using my controller, but... I think, I think the game does support controller, but the problem with that is I feel like I had the same problem with another game, but... If I try to use controller, it's gonna like all be me all messed up because it goes through Steam, I think. And I have to fix that first, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Hmm. I get some blood. Ow! <laughs> Damn it! Get out of here! Okay, that, I took some damage, I guess. I guess you need to use bullets, I'm assuming? get past this thing and then you get some blood back okay is that how it works well we can't open that unfortunately okay they're binding of isaac i feel like as well a little bit hmm. this is quaint this is like apparently this is the pit but also uh, suddenly it's a hotel i feel like Danger. Ghost ahead. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess when you press X, you're like holding out the gun. So maybe you should do that every so often to check the corners. I don't know. Oh. Eh, get out of here. Hmm. I feel like I, maybe I should avoid them, you know? Oh. 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 Okay. Maybe I should avoid the ghost. Ow, ow. Of course, ah! Ah, okay, fine. Screw you. I wanted to avoid combat, because I feel like that's what you do in Survivor Horror games. You want to avoid combat sometimes. Kind of hard to aim. Interesting as well, the enemies kind of disappear if you don't see them in the flashlight, you know? Okay, I don't want to waste too much of my bullets, though. Ah! There's a bullet here, I guess. I guess you get some blood back. I, I guess the idea is that if you get your blood back, you can turn them back into bullets. If you go back to the overworld is the idea, maybe? I'm not sure. Alright. There's a, a guy here. Can I just avoid you, please? Yeah. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I keep, like, taking too much damage. It's, like, not worth it to kill it now if I take damage. I already wasted the blood. Ah, whatever. Oh, come on. Ah. 
least of a bullet. Anything in here? Bullets, at least. Man, it's not worth it though. The zombie thing, I guess. Also, they have iframes for some reason. That's kind of BS. We shoot, ra we shoot too rapidly, you know. Bullets just go past them. Anyone here? Bullets? Give me those bullets. Oh, another one of you. I keep taking damage. Extra bullets anywhere? That's what I really want. I guess we're just looking for bullets. Oh, there you go. Ignore the bloody toilet? No, <laughs> I ignored the blood in general, I guess. There's blood everywhere. Just a thing. You don't worry about it. We're on the other side. Food is expired, of course. Good key. Okay, we got one key. Uh, there was that simple lock that we saw before. Hmm. Do we just go back now is the idea? We got one key though, so I guess we just use it. Is that the plan? Oh, did I miss that before? Hmm. You know, the game did say that if you uh, rest up in the village, I guess uh, it does reset everything. That's good. Because it resets all the items, that means you get your like bullets back. Maybe. Back to the ghost part. Some more to explore. The other areas. I'm not sure. Yeah, everything was blocked off anyway, so I guess that we just go back up. So yeah, it was this that was locked. So I guess starting from here, you know. We just go in the other area, and then we just go on that level, and we just continue on, is the idea. I'm assuming? Oh. Hmm. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> I shoot at it, but... Okay, it's a pinball thing. <laughs> Alright, good. Let's see. I wonder, I don't know, I guess we'll see, but I was just wondering if we should go back now or if we should go back later. Like, uh, do we, when you rest, you know, does our blood come back? <laughs> That's what I wonder. Do when we rest, do we heal up? I'm assuming not, but I'm not sure. Because I feel like blood is a very precious resource in that case. You can never get it back. You have to get it back by killing. It's the only way. Any bullets? Bullets! No oh, bullets! Give me those bullets. They don't look like bullets to be honest. They look more like... I don't know, batteries? That's what they look like to me. Or even like, they look like candy corn. <laughs> you know, that's what they also look like. Uh, we're killing them with sugar. You know, they do say sugar is deadly. Eat too much of it. Give me that. Go, 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 go. More monsters. Hmm. You know, even when it's not in the darkness, by the way, you still have to shine light on it to see it. Oh, who are you? Hello. Uh, what's with everyone in this stupid town? They all speak like they know something you don't. What a bunch of pretentious assholes. Okay, what are you doing here? You just sleep in here? Just like, ah, oh, don't worry about the monsters running around and all the gun shooting. Which, by the way, guns are very loud. <laughs> You're still just napping? Hmm? Oh, my name's Freya. Freya the Lioness. I was on vacation here when some feathery asshole decided to throw the entire hotel down the pit. Me included. Oh, is that how it works? If I ever catch the bastard, I'll make him pay. Hey, what's up? Spend time with Freya? Sure, why not? We'll just spend time with Freya in the pit. What a disaster. I came here because I thought they were done throwing things into the pit, and now here I am. 
Freya pouts. Well, it had gotten much worse than this. To think they even threw the government howl down here. By now, this pit must house a whole city of stuff. Freya laughs. So there's something calming about being down here, I guess. You two chat for a while. Okay, just a nice little time in the monster pit. Don't worry about it. No, no one care about the zombies and the monsters and the blood? I guess not. Oh, ow. Awkward control. Again, the keyboard is awkward because you can't, you don't have analog control, you know? You only have like eight directions, right? Up, down, left, right, and also diagonals. That's kind of, I really have precise aim. So you gotta aim your body as well. Anything in here? Oh, let's. Oh, come on. The game crashed. The game crashed. You kidding me? Oh, come on. All right. So we're back where we were. The game crashed for some reason, but it did save our progress. So that's good. The guy here. Can I kill him real quick? I'm going to kill him. Real quick. Come on. Don't miss. And please don't crash. Okay. I didn't crash this time. But thankfully. At least there's that. No, very quiet game. I mean, other than the footsteps the, and the gun shooting, there's no, there's no music. You know? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's supposed to be a survival horror game, so he's supposed to not have like you know bopping music, like rock music playing the whole time. But uh, I don't know. I was hoping some, some a bit of ambience at least. Mostly very silent. Very silent game. Uh, <laughs> are you okay? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't know, I just wanted to dance, but I couldn't stop dancing, so I cut them off. I'm so, so sorry. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Well, I guess they dance too much. Isn't there like a story about that? About how someone wore like shoes that made them dance forever or something? Is that a reference to that maybe? Oh, <laughs> hey, it's a shortcut. Okay. I mean, that works. Uh, is there anything? No, this is a, this is a dead end. Can I go back? Is this way? Okay, this way. And then we can open the lock again. Amazing. Hmm. I was wondering if I should go back up, actually. Maybe. I was wondering, like, can I heal, actually, if I rest in the bed? That's also, like, oh, that, that's what I was wondering, you know? So what happens if I kill these spiders? I'm gonna kill them. Spiders, where are you? I'm gonna murder you now. Oop. I'm just wondering if I sleep. All eyes and enemies will turn. But it doesn't really matter because I'm going to a new level anyway. So that's what I was thinking. Um, eh, no, actually our, our, our blood is still the same. So we didn't really gain anything from doing that. I don't know. I don't know. Is there any reason to talk to the animals? Um, I don't know. Okay, well, let's let's talk to Miranda again. I don't know if we get new dialogue, but let's see. Since we're here, what well, makes them do something so dangerous? Oh, no, same thing actually. Seems like anyway. Hold on, let me try again. On those different chapter. Oh, okay. This is different actually. Hmm, it seems like uh, when the game crashed, it seems like the dating sim thing. I guess progress. Got reset? I'm not sure. But this seems different. Uh, this village has many facilities. Miranda Stata starts talking almost unprompted. A butchery, a hostel, an elevator. Ah, but the elevator is out of service, I'm afraid. He seems almost embarrassed. I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. But maybe, he reddens. You're going to the pit, are you not? Maybe there might be a way to reopen it from there. I mean, she calls. It would help with touring the pit if you were to do so. You chat for a while. Can I continue hanging out with Miranda? The tourist guide? The two of you stand in silence. You can tell she appreciates your company. Many dangerous people have been tossed into the pit. Her eyes don't meet yours. I'm scared to think what might have become of them. Such deep darkness has a, she struggles to find the word, a transformative effect on people. 
Her eyes light up. Ah, if you're interested, many people have gone dark bathing into the pit. Dark bathing? She seems happy to change the subject. The hotel room below is perfect for such an occasion. You two chat for a while. Can I talk to Rondo? Or why, why, what's his name? Rondo? Rodon? Rondo. Uh, this place was gross back when humans lived here, Rondo starts rambling. Whoever made them leave did us all a favor. The humans that lived here were all rude, inconsiderate jerks. None of them ever treated me kindly. That's why I left, you see. Life's better on the road. I feel you understand Rondo a little more. Uh, okay. Let's head back to the pit. The items have, I guess, reset so we can actually get some extra bullets. So I guess it's a good idea to go back to the surface and kind of like rest so we can reset everything. To get some extra bullets, so it's a good idea. You know, if you're going to a new stage anyway, you might as well, because it doesn't matter if the enemies come back. Oh, this thing comes back though. Ah, that's always that's annoying. <laughs> I didn't realize. Get out of here. Why are you here? You don't belong here. Alright, let's go over here. So new area. Uh blood. Dance hall. Hmm. Someone has scratched the words twelve bullets into the sign. Twelve bullets. Hmm. Okay. Make sure to have 12 bullets, I guess. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, hey, it's the, the the legs of that person that we saw. The guts hanging out. This is gonna be hard. I guess 12 bullets minimum because it's very hard to aim this. Ah! Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> It's really hard to aim this, I feel like. Ah. I wonder if we can get rid of the ads as, as well. That was a good idea. Not sure. Might be a waste of bullets to do that. Ow. Freaking Beyblade, you know, legs. Ah, yeah. Ah, that. Ah, ah. Hard to aim. And it doesn't like uh, get pushed back by a bullet either. Hit it. Ow. Okay. Alright, I see a Pansu. Pansu? Very lewd. Give me back my blood. Not a lot of blood, to be honest. That wasn't worth it. It took so much damage, I feel like. I don't know. Let's continue, I guess. Use up all my bullets, however. Nothing in here? Well, more bullets, at least. But I definitely need more blood. All my blood is gone. All my blood has been drained. Unfortunately. Do, 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 do. Go back up this way. We unlock the key. There you go. Actually, I wonder, can I go back to the butcher? If the butcher said to change blood into bullets, can I change bullets into blood? I wonder, is that like a thing? I'm not sure. I'll also just kill the spiders. Maybe I'll give some of the blood back. Here we go. Okay, so you can change bullets into blood. It's, uh, it's not kind of not worth it though. It's like a lot of bullets for just one liter. That's so little. But I guess you could like... You could farm it, I guess. I don't know. I feel like it's not worth it. I'm gonna keep the bullets. I guess we'll just we'll simply not get hit. You know? Easy. Oh, and the game crashed. The game keeps crashing, actually. What the heck? Alright, let's continue down. Let's go this way, I guess. This might seem like the last part, actually. Hello? 
graze. Mm -hmm. Let's graze. I guess that's where the dead people are, you know, when it was thrown into the pit. So I guess, well, it seems like the game, or the setting anyway, seems to imply you can throw entire places into the pit. So I guess the cemetery also was thrown here. Also you. Oh, hello there, child. I'm right, the gravedigger. Have you perhaps met my brother, Mass? He's a butcher now, I hear. Mass? Right? I keep the crypt of my grandfather, the old judge. He was a feared man of law, prone to sentencing folks to death over minor crimes. Uh, he was buried alive. How are you today, child? Spend time? Sure, why not? Rice serves you some tea. They say, he speaks, that the first thing cast into the pit was a terrible demon. It was called the King of Infinite Space. He shrugs. It's just an old legend, though. Nothing to worry about. Besides, he pauses. If it were true, it would be best not to pursue it. You two finish your tea. It's just some nice tea time with the muscular man with the deer's skull helmet and giant knives. Don't worry about it. This is just a nice guy. You're going there. What's uh to the south? South is like this. Okay, well, which way should I go? I'm not sure. Bullets. Couple bullets, I guess. Hmm. Well, I mean, I like to go here, maybe. It's over here. Oh, okay, that opens that, and I guess this is an elevator. Oh, interesting. So you can use this as an elevator. You go back all the way to the ground floor if you wanted to. Ding. That's blocked off. Second floor. That's blocked off. <laughs> you know, can I open those eventually? I'm not sure. Ding. At least this isn't blocked off. There you go. I guess a little bit shortcut, but go all the way down. It's not that long though. But a we'll walk, however. All right, let's go. Back. Let's go over here. Let's go down this grave. And see what we can see. Uh oh, what's this? I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> you know, I was like, what is this? Kill it. I don't know what it is. Kill it. America. The American way. Also, I killed something else off in the distance. I don't know what it was. Hopefully, it wasn't an innocent person. <laughs> I don't know. Die. It does, they, they do seem to back away from me, but I don't know, is out of like, I don't think they're harmless though, because they do, I, I think they do go towards me if I'm not shining a light on them, I think that's what it is. If you shine a light on them, then they back away, but if you don't, they might continue to attack you, if I had to guess. Right? Maybe? Or maybe I'm just killing innocent things, don't worry about it, oh, whatever. Do -do 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 -do. Die. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's two ways to go, it seems like. Um, Alright, well, let's go this way first. What's over here? There are scratches at the edges. How strange. That's one bullet. Hmm. Two ways to go. Uh, I don't know which way is the right way. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. That's what I'm worried about. This game is very prone to crashing, I feel like. Oh, what is this thing? Hello? Oh, hee hee ha ha ha. Hee hee ha ha ha. I mean, it is bleeding. I'm assuming you can kill this thing. Hee hee ha ha ha. And dead. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Oh, another one. I mean, uh, these guys are not really in the way, so I guess I'll just ignore it. There's way too many of them. You know, they, 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 take, they take too long to kill, so. Oh, here's a key. Okay. Well, we have to go back now. Ah! Damn it. 
Oh ha 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 ha. Okay, this is annoying. This is actually really annoying. Oh my god. I don't want to waste my bullets though. Darn aim. Okay, excuse me? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it worked out. I only have one HP though. One liter of blood anyway. Really bad. If I die, it's gonna suck. What's over here? Oh. Zombies? That's all you guys before. Is this, oh, is this one kind of maze? I guess it's a, some kind of maze. Possibly. Die. This thing. That just serves to be in a impediment of my progress, but it does give some health back. That's good. Another key. Alright. I'm assuming we need to collect a bunch of keys for a lock later on, I'm assuming. Yeah, and we're still kind of low on health, but we have plenty of bullets, actually. That's good. At least we'll heal back if I don't get hit a whole bunch. In here, just more of these guys. Oh, if it's just these guys, that's great. I'd like to get some health back, please. You know? It's great. I love the- I love murdering these guys. Hmm. That. Bullets. Anything up here? Ah. <laughs> Awkward. Ah. Okay. I just I'm just hunting them down. You know, you say this is a survival horror game. Uh oh. Well, never mind. I, I, I was too cocky. Help! Ah. Who are you? You look you look like the other guy. You know, aren't you a friend? I guess not. Maybe you're the father. You know, the judge or whatever that got buried alive is the idea. Maybe and you're you're like a weird possessed corpse now. It doesn't seem to move when I'm not putting a light on it, actually. There you go, it's dead. Let's see. Those are all these things, right? I actually want to destroy them for the blood. We know I don't need them. I don't need to, rather. I'm gonna get them some blood back. It's a blood bath. Don't forget to take your blood shower. You know, gotta make sure you stay healthy. Right, another key in front of the grave. I can't read the graves, it seems like. Um, okay. Well, that's it. We have three keys from this area. I'm assuming that's all we need, so we head back and go the other way. I'm assuming. And hope the game doesn't crash. Again, very quiet, this game. Uh, you would expect some, some bit of ambience, at least. But, uh... How much else? Just footsteps and gunshots. <laughs> Alright, what's over here? Check the sign. Warning! Tomb of Black Ceremony Judge! Okay, the thing I killed wasn't the judge. Someone has scratched the words, uh, 18 bullets into the sign. I'm getting... Alright, 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 all right. hold on, hold on. I think I am gonna go back to heal up, actually. Um, it's gonna be... Quite a trek. Not too bad, really. So this has been a walking. But I do want to go and go grab the, um... Because I, I do have a lot of bullets at... Oh, never mind. Game crashed! Let's see. Well, so I, I wanted to go back here and talk to this guy and trade my bullets. Mm -hmm. We have a lot, so I'm going to trade a whole bunch. Three liters. I do lose a lot of bullets, but it's worth it for the extra health. It's not really extra, this is like barely what we started with in the beginning, but... Oh well. I also wanted to rest, to restart the, uh... I'm gonna restart... 
or reset the items so we get more bullets back, actually. So, alright. So we're back here. We healed up by trading in our bullets at the butcher. And hopefully that'll be enough. Let's see. Open this. Open that. Open this. Let's go. Uh-oh. What are you? Freaking... Ah! Can I see the bullet? Oh, can I see the projectiles? But not flashing my little light on them or something? I don't know. They kind of appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, the, the bullets are invisible unless you... Unless you uh, are aiming the light at it. Yes. Which is kind of hard to deal with. I'm using keyboard, I feel like it'd probably be easier with controller. Again, I'm, I'm, I didn't, I didn't want to set it up. I feel like because there, there are problems when you open the game through Steam and then use controller. I guess you don't have to open it through Steam. I'm just so used to organizing my games on Steam. Even though I'm, this is an itch.io game, I always put it in my Steam library to like organize it. That's how I do it anyway. Come on. Confirm those hits. It confirmed. Target acquired. Come on, you're dead yet? Okay, you're dead. Alright, let's go in. What's in here? Is it more? Of the game, actually? I felt like that was kind of like a final boss in a way. Maybe there's more. Hello? There's a bird guy. We saw him before in the very beginning. Good to see you again, sir or madam. Will you be going to the bottom of this pit? Me too. Let's race to the bottom. I'll give you a head start, of course. Let's meet again, yes? Okay. Some bullets there. Hmm. What's this? House of Government. Okay, this is where the city hall ended up. In the pit. Uh, hello Starlight by the way. I'm just playing Animal Village. Animal Village seems, you know, I didn't realize what this game was about really. But you know, I, I thought it was more gonna be like Animal Crossing, but it, it does feel more like, yeah, like a top-down twin stick shooter. <laughs> you know, that's more what it feels more like. Um, good graphics though, I gotta say. But uh, it, it felt like it was over, but actually, it feels like there's more. Maybe we, that was just a halfway point, actually. I do gotta say, though, something I complain about a lot, actually, is that this game crashes a lot. I wish it didn't crash as much. It crashes a lot. So hopefully it doesn't crash, you know, soon. I, I have a feeling it will, but, you know, eventually it's gonna just gonna crash again when I transition to a new area, but hopefully it doesn't do it too much. I feel like it's still doable, you know, I, st I can still complete the game, it's just that every so often I need to restart. Oh, that's a lot of blood loss. I, feel like, I don't know. Oh, come on. I just, I can shoot you through the wall. I'll ah, get wrecked. Oh, interesting. Okay, so when you kill those guys, they do, do like a last thing where they can damage you, I guess. So be careful of that. You know, this doesn't make sense, but whatever. <laughs> Helps me not die. I guess. Hmm. You know, I feel like part of the gameplay, yeah, is sometimes you actually have to hit things that you can't even see. Or like, technically invisible. These guys, annoying. Grab the key. Um, I guess I guess I'll go all the way around. Now, do I even explore all of this? Actually, I'm sure not, I'm actually not sure. Um, can I go back outside? Because I was wondering what was on the right. You know, can I go to the right? Oh, here you go. Okay, so this is the elevator, right? Okay, it makes sense now. Hmm. All right. And all the other places, all the other floors I visited with this elevator was actually here. 
in the deeper parts of the pit. I didn't realize. I thought they were the upper parts. So there's actually way more levels than I thought. There's actually way more floors. Um, I guess we'll continue, I guess. Alright, so we have a key though, so let's go on the left, I guess. Oh, <laughs> not you! Get out of here! I'm running out of bullets, actually. That's not good. Is it worth it to kill this guy? I feel like it's not worth it. He's dead. I have a health back though, but now I need a lot more bullets. I'm running out of bullets. We need to start farming. Oh no. Okay. Let's see. Okay, well I should save my bullets now, you know? Even though, ah! <laughs> it sucks though, but I guess there's more space now, so I can like just simply- Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> it's stun lock. I was gonna say, save my bullets and not bother trying to kill everybody, but... Sometimes it's a bad idea because I get stuck on enemies. Random head. I guess we don't need to kill that. I gotta save my bullets. Gotta be very frugal. I simply grab these bullets and leave. Like playing fear and hunger again, you know? Just simply do not attack any of the enemies. Well, this guy's in the way. I'll just... Okay, what's over here? Some guy? Random dude? Uh, bullets? That's good. Give me those bullets. Give me those bullets. Give me no bullets! Very long table, damn it. Get out of here. Okay, we're getting my we're getting, we're getting bullets back. That's good. Damn it. I was trying to go around him. I was wondering if there's any bullets up here. I guess not. That's a waste of time. Okay, very awkward when uh, you're aiming with keyboard. Not very fluid. Because you don't have an analog stick. Is the problem. Ah! Now you're. Yay! Yay! Uh, which way do I go, actually? Can I go this way? I cannot. Actually, I don't know. Um, I was gonna say, you know, I was like, I don't, I'm not sure which way the pinball thing, you know, is facing, so I'm not sure, like, which way it's like you go in, which way you go out. I mean, obviously that makes sense because it's being blocked by the head, but not sure if we can just tell, you know, which way it allows you to go through, just from looking at it. Oh, I hit something, you know, across the entire map. Spiders. Eh, don't worry about spiders. The bullets are more worth it. Right? So I guess I should kill, start killing some more stuff to get some health back. Probably be a good idea. I wonder what the formula is, you know? Is it better to kill, like, the smaller enemies or... Kill, like, certain enemies to give you more blood per shot? I'm not sure. Don't know if I need to mid-max it. Oh, I can't... Ah. You're not dead yet. Get out of here. Uh, okay, let's see. Should go on the right, I guess. Right. Ah! Okay, well, uh, oh no. Get out of here. Okay, there's a key. You don't want to kill those red guys too closely. They explode. Alright, we got a key. Oh, and you. I forgot about you. Oh no. <laughs> Took so much damage. I lost all my health. Uh, now I'm thinking, like, where else should I go? Because we, we have the, uh... Um... The key now. Where do I go? I'm not sure. Let's see here. I'm gonna kill you just get some health back. Actually. I don't know why I don't know why this thing is here. Like it's just in the corner. But I guess it's you know it's for health. To be healthy, you simply need to shoot things. That's how it works. 
right? Uh, let's see. Where do I go? So, I mean, again, it's a big map. Hmm. Was there any way? So I went that way already. So we die there. To go down here? This guy goes back to... Uh, down. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm taking too much damage. Hmm. I go back that way. Sh should I go back that way? Ow. Okay, I'm taking too much damage. Where's my, like, uh, blue herbs or whatever? Actually, oh, okay, here we go. Open that. I guess, did I, go did I not go on the right side before? I wonder if there's any bullets. No bullets? Oh, there's bullets. Give me that. Not much to talk about, by the way. <laughs> you know, it's like... Again. Oh. So much health loss. Again, not, not much to talk about. Game kind of feels kind of empty, actually. You know? I mean, there's enemies and everything, but... Uh, I feel like it was kind of front-loaded with a bunch of characters and everything, but now... There's not much. It's mo it mostly feels like, well, it feels like a video game, you know? That's not what I signed up for. I didn't sign up for, like, a video game. <laughs> Ironically. Yeah, I don't know. It's I, want, I, I, I just expected more story. I expected Animal Crossing, to be honest. That's the aesthetic that looked like, but, uh, again, it feels more like Legend of Zelda, actually. It feels more like a game game, you know? A game with gameplay. Rather than, like, a visual novel, which I usually do uh, a lot of videos on. Oh, oh, these guys. I hate these guys. They barf on you. And they laugh. How many bullets do these guys take? They take a lot of bullets. Seems like. I think I gotta kill at least one of them, right? No, it seems like the bullets do kind of auto-track a little bit, I guess, if you're close enough. I guess that's how it works. I guess if you're within the flashlight, maybe? I'm not sure. There, there is a bit of, like, track, you know? So you're not to be exact, it seems like. like. That, yeah, you've noticed? Okay, that's, that's something the game didn't really explain. You know, when I used it on the bosses, though, it didn't seem like that. It didn't seem like they auto-track. But maybe I didn't notice. Because it's hard to, like, shoot, you know, if you're gonna be so close to the, to the boss when it's moving so much. Especially the ballet one. Can't really make use of the auto track. Alright, nothing here. Continue on. Gulag. <laughs> okay, welcome to the Gulag. Please stay out, says the jailer. Well, I have nowhere else to go, so I will keep going down. Uh, I will now go to the Gulag. Oh, and the game crash! Great. Cool. Amazing. Uh, I want to finish this though, but it's like, he's crashing so much. I have to walk all the way back from here. Let me see. Is it, is it, is it too bad? I mean, I think we found the elevator, right? But... I'm trying to think. How, how did I get there again? I don't remember, to be honest. It's wild. Okay, well, let's take the elevator. I think. Uh, this one is unlocked, right? This one at least is unlocked. Second? This is unlocked. I don't think I unlocked the third one yet. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, we'll go through here again. Uh, where is it? I don't remember. Uh, I think... Let's see. Run through everything again. That's what's annoying. Okay, I have to go all the way down that way, I think. I was just I I was just there, you know. It was just there. I don't know. I want to get the ending of this game. I, I want to get to at least the ending. But yeah, this, this I don't know. It feels a little bit lopsided. I feel like like uh, it feels a little unfinished, in my opinion. Uh, the core gameplay is interesting enough. It's just um, it's kind of simple, you know. You kind of just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Everything. And again, there's no ambience. I wish it was more ambient. You know? I wish there was more like just something. It doesn't have to be like music or anything, but just other sound effects rather than the slapping of your feet you know that would be good because it feels a little empty it's not technically empty but it feels empty you know 
That's that's the that's the feeling I get. Alright, let's get back down here. Go down this way. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully it doesn't crash again. Let's go in here. I, I'm assuming this is the elevator. Unlock the shortcut so we can back here. If the game crashes again, I can at least have a checkpoint. That's good. Seems to imply there's at least two more levels, right? I think when I saw in the elevator options, I'm not sure. Bullets. 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 Ah. I take so much damage. You know, did I, did I realize how much damage I take from these guys? I think you can take like one damage or something, right? But I think actually three liters of damage, it seems like. Oh, you don't want to fight that guy in here. I want to grab the uh, bullets, however. Okay. I guess open that. That's kind of like a shortcut. Shortcuts upon shortcuts. More prisons. I mean, that's. I guess that's what Gulag is. Still got hit. Not a slime. That's a lot of damage. Actually. Mm. Oh, there's that thing. I can kill that thing if I wanted to, I guess. I can shoot the bars if I wanted to. Um. Okay, well, I'll, I'll kill this guy. I guess it's three bullets, so it's kind of worth it. Because you always get... Three bullets back anyway. I guess it's worth it to kill these guys. As long as you're not too close, of course. Kill them, grab the bullets. Alright, what's over here? Oh, or that guy. Oh, I have to kill him. Are both not hitting? That's weird. Come on. I'm just wasting bullets. Anything in here? It's, uh, nothing? It's you again? Which I do wonder. No, oh, nothing. Okay, it is nothing. I just want to double check in case I'm missing like a key. I imagine you're supposed to get another key or something. Possibly. That's, how you, that's usually how you progress. You know? <laughs> oh, I missed a message, by the way. Uh, Starlet said, uh, what's my favorite game to play? Well, I don't know, actually. I mean, for the channel, basically, I play a variety of games. Recently, I did a whole playthrough of Fear and Hunger. That was kind of, like, really interesting to me. Uh, at least the most recent thing I played. But generally speaking, I kind of just play a variety of games. I, mean, I don't really stick to one game, I guess. I used to play a lot of TF2, I guess. I mean, just in general, when I was a kid, I guess, I played a lot of games that like MMOs, like, I don't know, RuneScape and MapleStory, but I don't know, these days I don't really, like, do that. Uh, oh, there's a note here. I heard the old king wanted the jailer's head. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if I have a favorite? I mean, I would, I guess, I don't know, I'm trying to think. I mean, I, I, mean, I well, it depends on the genre, I guess. I mean, I do have favorites in terms of different genres. Um, I guess one of my favorite genres is definitely the Phoenix Wright games, but I do like the Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright games as well. So, yeah, that kind of like visual novel kind of style, like visual novel plus gameplay, you know? Especially if the gameplay... That's weird, why, why my gun go all the way to the right? But like any kind of like visual novel where the gameplay is coinciding with the story, I really like that, you know? Because you, if you notice, like a lot of video games, um, have a kind of like, uh, how do you say, like a gameplay and story segregation, you know, where sometimes the gameplay has nothing to do with the story a lot of the times. Eh, maybe more like retro games, that happens a lot, but I don't know. But I like it when it, it does the opposite, you know, where the gameplay and the story is actually intertwined. But uh, there's a note here, I heard the jailer was going to check up on the old king. That's, you know what it seems like? Another key? Am I supposed to grab a ton of keys? I don't know. I only got two so far. Right. 
right? Well, it's... You know, I want to get to the end of this. Um... Oh, oh. I gotta say, though, again, the game feels a little... For some reason, it feels empty. I don't know, I, I guess it's just no flavor text. You know, yeah, that's probably part of it as well. There's not a lot of stuff to check, you know? I mean, there's these notes, I guess. That's the one thing that it does have. Uh, I heard screaming from the Old King's cell. It, the game was a little bit more interesting in the beginning, actually, when we get to talk with characters. Uh, there was that ballet, you know? A uh, person that was cut in half. You know, that that was kind of like foreshadowing the uh, the boss, which is kind of cool. But after kind of that part, I mean, it, it probably not just that, but also the game crashing a whole bunch. That might have, I don't know, slowed down the pace a little bit. But I do feel like the game is just lacking a lot of flavor now at the end here. It's kind of like we're just killing things in a random place. There's like some notes about some random king, but I don't know. It doesn't feel very connected. In my opinion at the moment. But, I don't know, whatever. Let's just get these keys, you know? Let's get to the end. Grab that. Another note. I heard the Jailer hasn't come back from his rounds. Okay. Just keeps mentioning the King and, and the Jailer. Alright. We got four keys. Is that enough? One, two, three, four. Alright, that's enough. Oh, hello. What are you? You look like uh, the vault boy from Fallout, in a way. Well, it's the Jailer. He's busy. He's busy at the moment being dead, you know. Don't, don't want to bother him. Cell of the Old King. Please stay out. And then you need 24 bullets, okay? 24 bullets. Well, we actually have pretty good health. Uh, watch that health go down, but... Alright, let's see. It's from another boss fight, yep. It's the Old King! Uh, ah, uh oh. Ah, uh, stop barf- no, stop barfing on me. Look at that. Look those bullets. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, you. I'm assuming maybe the Old King, like the lore is that the pit has been here for a while maybe, and the Old King is like the leader of the old town maybe. Like a long time ago is the idea possibly. The game, I wasn't it like the game mentioned something about how like they didn't like the mayor or something? I can't remember. Someone mentioned that, I think. Maybe that's partially partially it, right? Like the people rebelled and tossed the old king into the pit is the idea, right? Is he, you know? Maybe. Oh. Also turns you to a monster, by the way. I guess that's just what happens. That's what happens when you stay in the pit for too long. You turn into like a weird monster thing. Just die, <laughs> you know, just hurry up and die. How many bullets was it? 24 or something? Unless I hit his hand, I guess. That doesn't count. I hit his head. Ah, the, yeah, the hand though sucks. Doesn't like it grabs you. Not damage. Uh, ah, damn it. Oh, come on. Ah, so close. Guess I'm dead. I'm gonna try that again, I guess. Okay, let's do this again. Here's the king. He barfs at you. Rawr. I think if you just stay far enough away, just shoot him here. It's take a long time, but I guess you can just wait for him to barf. Stand like very far away. Shoot him a few times. Back away. Oops. There. Sucks. I wait for the hand though. Sucks. The hand is kind of like desynced from his barf ability. You gotta wait for him to do that first, I feel like. 
to get a clean hit, otherwise you don't get a clean hit. How many bullets does he take? 24? <laughs> I also keep hitting his hand. His hand is like, protects you, or protects him from the bullets, rather. Annoying. Again, hard to aim as well because, uh, keyboard. Now, no, no smooth aiming problem. I right, wait for his hand to not be in the way. I guess specifically you gotta hit his head, can't he just hit his torso? Come on. Just die already. You know, his head actually kind of reminds me of the little obstacles that you always kill, actually. Yeah, the little head obstacles. Reminds me. Anyway, there you go. He's dead. Ugh. Let's continue onwards. I think there's one more floor at least. Is there gonna be like one more boss? I'm actually ready to be done with this game. <laughs> you know, n not to like say it's a bad game necessarily, it's just, it just crashes too much, you know? It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm scared that uh, it's like gonna ruin my recording. Uh, also, hmm, it's a seed. It has died. Seed, you say? Oh, that's interesting. Some kind of lore about our own character, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, do I have any pets? Says someone in the chat. Um, no, I guess? I have mentioned in the past, but pets are kind of like a responsibility. So I, never, I never really want one because it's like taking care of another sentient life, you know? How, how, can, you be, how can you guarantee that you'd be able to have time to take care of it, you know? Also, okay, we're back in the beginning in a way, sort of. So wait, is, is it like, it's a pit within a pit? <laughs> you know, it's kind of like a Matroshka doll, you know? Human village. Huh, okay, so they this is where they dumped the human village. The animal village was on top. They dumped the human village in here. Can I go inside these places? Oh, that's, there's that thing. Well, it's just a bird. Did I talk to the bird? I don't know. Hello. I finally figured you out, my lovely madam or sir. Don't worry, I'll keep your secret safe. We are birds of a feather, you see? Okay. Weird bird guy. Enigmatic bird guy. Anything in here? Final elevator, I guess. He's going to come back down here. Ah, uh, let's see. Here, the head. I guess this this kind of represents the humans, maybe. What that represents, possibly. Oh, supposed to be a bed here, but no, it's just stairs. Hmm, I'm scared now. Wait, which way is progress? Because I don't want to progress. I want to explore some more. Over here, this door usually is closed. Actually, In the animal village, anyway. There's no here. But going downstairs, you accept responsibility for what happens. Hmm. Okay. Let me get past that. Here we go down here. We can. Uh, a few ways to go. Um, let's see. Well, let's go to the attic, maybe. Oh, and the game crashes. Not again! Oh my god. The game keeps crashing! <laughs> Why does it keep crashing? Try again. At least we have the elevator, I guess. We just run back there. But man, the, the game keeps crashing. That's my major complaint. It keeps crashing? I don't know if it's a, people experience the same thing. The game, um, I mean, as far as I know, has pretty good rating, actually. I think a lot of people have played it, at least 100 people, you know, because it has 100 ratings. So at the very least, 100 people have played this game. And I haven't really seen them complain about the crashing, so I don't know. It's just maybe just my computer. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, we're back here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go up. Uh, let's go up here. What's over here? What's in the attic? Anything in here? Oh, it's just... Oh, okay, oh, it's just this? Wait. 
Oh, okay. Oh, this is where I came out of. Oh, okay. I totally, uh, forgot. I guess. Huh. <laughs> okay. Actually, that's, yeah, that's where I came out of. Oops, I, I forgot that. That's where I came out of. Never mind that. Um, I guess we can go down the pit again. A pit w within the pit. Uh, so I don't know. Which way should I go? I'm, let's go this way. This is kind of like where we began in a way. It has a familiar scent. Oh, hello, bird. Good day, sir, madam. Care to donate some blood? I'm collecting 10 liters for the ones in need. I donate nothing. I give you nothing. Um, I don't know why I should give you anything, actually. I'm leaving. Instead of doing that, I'm just gonna go... I'm just gonna go down. Thank you very much. My lab looks broken. I don't know. Can we, can we, is it like a one-way trip? Rip. Where we gr uh, ground ahead? This is it. If you have any unfinished business, this is your last chance to turn back. Sleep? This will end the game. Uh, sure. Time to go to sleep. And become a seed? I guess? Or we are a seed, I guess? What does that do? It's just the end. Alright, I guess that's the end. Nothing else we can do. That's it. Very strange. I mean, I guess there's some kind of like implication there, maybe? I mean, it's very a very surreal idea in the first place. Like, sending stuff into the pit. It's like, you send entire places into the pit. <laughs> and that becomes like, it's like dungeons in a way. But also, our character was a seed, I guess, in the beginning. And so, I mean, the idea is that we need to plant the seed, right? And therefore, their character became something, I guess? Like, we, we became, uh, or like, you know, we, we were planted into the grave, and therefore later we become something else, is, I, I assume is the idea. So what does that even mean? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. It's very weird. <laughs> this game is very weird. It's very surreal. All right, so this time let's donate the, the 10 blood, I guess. All the way, number 10? There's 10 liters, right? I wish it was faster, to be honest. Uh, oh, sir or madam, would you care to hear the, the good news? Sure. The bird really uh, gulps the jar of blood down. Wait a minute, that's my blood. This is just eating my blood. Sir or madam, you have touched me with your generosity. I wish to give you the most precious thing I can offer. The truth. He makes an ex exaggerated bow, like an uh, actor after a show. I, Liar, the Blackbird, am at your service. Something about him unnerves you. Hmm. Is that it? Uh, oh, I think there's more. Uh, the bird's face is unreadable and animal. Have you seen the other animal people on this here town? Here's the truth. They were all once humans. The only ones here are all animal are your humble horse. A horse? No, not a horse. It's a bird. No. The only ones here who are all animal are your humble host. He makes an exaggerated pause. And of course, yourself. Hmm. Okay. No, no, we're the animals. Okay. So this bird thing and us are all animals. It's the fault of this pit's darkness, which has simmered for so long, you see, has begun to seep out into the surface. This pit has a transformative effect on things, turning them occult, both in the sense of the supernatural and the hidden. In the unknowable darkness, the border between thoughts and reality become blurred. You don't know whether to believe him or not. Okay. There are more? Uh, the bird's face is unreadable animal. Surely you've noticed the two uh, valuables of this world are bullets and blood. However, there's a third value. Unknowable to the eye called loneliness. The more of it you have, the more blood you absorb, but also the more blood you lose. Oh, huh. oh, is that really a thing? I never know. Okay, I guess that was a gameplay mechanic. That was just, just, just by the way. <laughs> this is not told to you. Okay. To rid yourself of it, should you want to, all you need to do is mingle with the common folk. Of course, I would never rid yourself of such a useful tool. You wonder if he's telling the truth. Okay. So I guess if you 
interact with more of the creatures, it does do that. I, I did notice that it did take more damage as I went down. So maybe that's why. So the more scenes you unlock with the, uh, the NPCs, you know, the more damage you take. Actually. You know, I don't know. Have you wondered why the pit rejects you? You have surely seen it. Should you have perished in the pit, you are spit right out. Tis because of your nature. He nods sagely. This pit has become a dumpster of despair. It cannot mingle with your hopefulness. In here, the more hopelessness something carries, the further it sinks. However, like water and oil, there are pockets of hope that have also accumulated. You are such a pocket seeking the rich soil at the bottom of the pit to bury your hope there and change the pit's nature. Something about him knowing this makes you uncomfortable. Okay, well, well he's gone. Great. Amazing. Um, okay. So I guess maybe that was the purpose of our journey here, you know? To so like, plant the seed of hope, actually, into this pit to transform it into something better. And the game crashed. Again. I'm assuming there's more to talk to her about. Yeah, I'll max out your social link of everybody. Anyway. Uh, have you met Dolly? She's staying here too. Freya scratches behind her ear. She's a famous dancer. She was going to do a whole show here. It's why I came, you see. We're old friends. I think I heard her say something about wearing new dancing shoes. I wonder what that's all about. <laughs> you do chat for a while. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's more foreshadowing for the boss, actually. Yeah, I'll double check one more time. Oh, here you go. I mean, it seems like it's random, actually. Some of the dollars is random. Uh, the ghosts, they just phase right through me. She seems amused by your concern. I tried to eat one, but I couldn't quite get a grip on them. Damn things. I bet they're why they threw the hotel down here. She seems happier. You do chat for a while. Okay, so that's why she's very unconcerned about the whole, you know, monster thing. Like, it doesn't even affect her in the first place. I don't know. It affects me, though. Alright, there you go. That's it for uh, Animal Village. Again, interesting idea. Um, very like a mysterious setting and everything. I kind of still don't really understand it. It's very surreal, but being, you know, because of that though, I do find it a little bit interesting. And of course the graphics and everything look pretty good actually for the sprite art and everything. I do gotta say though, um, I mean number one, for some reason this game keeps crashing on me. I don't know if it's just a me problem, but it definitely affected my experience a whole lot because I kept crashing and had to like keep going back and forth, so that was kind of bad. Uh, but I mean, I guess assuming that doesn't affect everybody else, you know, it's just me. Um, the only other thing I would have an issue with is definitely the pacing, you know? It feels weird at the end. I don't know, is it just, I don't know, it's just me. Again, it could be affected because uh, I, I crashed a whole lot. But near the end, you know, it just, it just felt a little monotonous, you know? I think it was trying to go for, again, a little bit more horror and everything, but... Um, I don't know, I just felt like... Like, from the very beginning, it was already, it already started, like, a little bit, a bit of horror, and it kind of just stayed there, you know? There's no, there's no, like, I guess, um, build up, you know? There's no, like, tension to, like, build up to, like, a scary thing. It just kind of, like, stays, uh, somewhat creepy the entire time, and therefore it just felt kind of flat to me. I don't know. It just, it just felt that way, you know, in terms of pacing. So I kind of wish there was a bit more, you know, again, more like, to me anyway, like psychological horror in the sense that there's more tension, there's more build up, you know, more like stuff like that. But it just felt like for most of the game anyway, it's just kind of like you're shooting stuff. You're pew pew pew, you know, and then and then you collect some keys and then you just go, you know, it's like, I don't know. Maybe it's just not my type of game, but that's what it felt like to me. It felt more like an action game. More like, uh, more than like a horror game, you know. There's a bit of a horror theme, but it's just in the background really. And it didn't feel like the main thing, at least until the very end maybe. Like the whole like, idea where the bird tells you the truth is a little interesting but didn't seem to do much though it's just like oh by the way this pit is mysterious is magical and also there's a hidden mechanic where like you take more damage if you talk to people i guess you know i don't know but they didn't do much with it as far as i know um but who knows anyway i don't know if there's some kind of secret ending maybe i'll like cut here and like show it but okay so actually there is a al alternative outcome in a way uh it turns out this area is open now i'm assuming this triggers after talking to the bird so actually we can go in here so go down here and there you go so this is something new so you came this is the layer of the king of infinite space the very first thing sealed inside this pit 
humans managed to trap him in a walnut and rolled him over the edge. That was a long time ago, though. Just bury yourself now almost seems like a waste now. So, shall we open it? A fitting final encounter for this grand adventure, wouldn't you say? Sadly, I have nothing to scratch, so I'll just tell you. 32 bullets should down him. I'll have 43. Hopefully that's enough. Um... Remember that? Hmm. I guess you have to make every bullet count in that case. Alright, let's see. It's walnut. Rack it open? It's, uh, this is irreversible, by the way. Sure, why not? Hmm. Oh! Okay, well... Uh, I guess when we die, you know, we just respawn, so I guess that's not the worst thing in the world. Oh. What happened to you? What? What happened? I was just talking to Miranda and then... Did you do this? Why did this have to happen? It's Miranda. She's dead. <laughs> okay, whoops. Turns out we, you know, unleash an eldritch being back into the universe. And have doomed us all. Great. Amazing. Cool. Mm. Oh. oh, there it is. Okay. I guess they shoot it. 32 bullets, right? Oh boy. Ah, oh, freaking arms as well. You gotta make every shot count <laughs> because I, I have limited bullets. I should have, like, maybe, like. Uh. No, I should I should have like grinded some more bullets, I guess. I don't know. Every bullet count. I wish it was a health bar. <laughs> I'm not sure. Is there any like any way to uh get more bullets, I wonder? I'm not sure. Ow. They don't take a lot of damage actually. You know, uh, funnily enough, in order to get this footage, by the way, I'm, I'm, I mean, it's live, so it's not what we call it, but uh, basically I had to, like, reload the save. But, like, when I opened the save, it actually doesn't work. It was corrupted, I guess. And it took me a while to figure out what was wrong, you know? I had to change, like, a line of code, <laughs> you know, in the save file. And it turns out that was the problem. This game is very buggy, by the way. I mean, not to ruin the moment of this, like, you know, Elder God trying to murder us and everything, but this game is very buggy. I don't know. Especially if on my computer, it just kept having memory issues and crashing. And and the last straw was definitely the whole save issue, you know, because when I closed the game, you know, I, and I finished recording everything, that's when I learned that there was an alternative ending, right? Of this alternate ending in particular, like this one. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll go back and double check. And then when I tried to open the game, the save did not load for some reason. It just kept saying like, oh, this uh, again, save is not detected. And it's a common problem actually. I check on the comments and it did happen to other people, as it turns out. So I, you know, being the computer hacker that I am with, actually, I, I with no computer science background actually, um, I just kind of guessed that like, well, okay, something's wrong with the save file, right? So there's a local app on the computer. That's where it saves game files or save files. And uh, I double checked. I opened it in a notepad and there's like a, just a bunch of like, I don't know, just numbers, right? It was, I think it was hexadecimal or something like that. And I was like, I, I just double checked and it's like, okay, it's not working. So I made a copy, I put it on the other folder. And it's like, I tried to delete it and open the game again. And like, I kept creating a new save file. So I looked at the new save file and just kind of compared it to the old one that I had. And I kept trying to like, you know, change things. And eventually I figured it out, you know, it's like one of the line of code is just for some reason it, it broke. And so you have to replace one line of code, essentially, in the save file, and then voila, it properly, you know, loads the old save. I might even, like, post that fix in the store page for anyone else who might have that problem, but... I don't know. There you go, I killed the... the god of infinite space. I guess that's it. I don't know if there's anything else. Um, everyone's fucking dead. And I guess... we just go back to sleep. This is it. There's nothing left to be done but this. Yes, that's it. I was also wondering, oh yeah, what prompted me to like mention, you know, the whole s fiasco about like how my save was corrupted was the fact that we did take a lot less damage. I do wonder because there was a mechanic about how like um, apparently 
loneliness makes you take more damage, or, or rather, it takes you, it makes you take less damage. Rather, you know, you, you, the less loneliness you have, the more damage you take. And I guess maybe because all our friends died, you know, our loneliness stat went back up to maximum again. So that's why we took less damage. Maybe that's what happened. I'm not sure. Or it could be like again the whole save file thing. Maybe changing that line of code also changed that hidden variable somehow. I'm not sure. There you go. That's it. I'm assuming this is the same credits. So I guess I'll just skip back to when I basically concluded uh, uh, the game. Uh, but there you go. I guess that's it for um, Animal Village. Um, it's okay, I guess. Decent, you know. But um, I guess if you want to see more content, then don't forget to subscribe. I can also check out my other videos on the channel if you would like. Um, and I guess uh, if you didn't know, I also stream these games live. So you can change the bell notifications from personalized to all if you get notified when I get uh, when I go live rather when I get live no when I go live rather um, but there you go thanks for watching until next time see you then.